always good to see you. Hey, voices. Wonderful. She talks now. Uh, that was one of the things. The day of the launch, as with many games nowadays, even when they're not coming out in early access or anything like that, hey, it's day one, there's issues, there's bugs. Uh, mine was that there was no voice audio, things like that. It's day two, that's fixed. So now I will record some videos. Uh, no audio, that was the name of this one because that was the issue. MGTV Beta, my very first one that I tried out. I have made it. Uh, this is going to be my advanced uh, difficulty. And then Module King was me playing around because modules are the name of the game as well, which you'll see. Cool things you can do in your corporate selection. Let me just jump right in. Certainly. You can change your name at any time. You get to pick a corporation and you play it all the way through. And what you do is you play through the campaign, which is basically a licensing program to get to the moon. And then once you do that, it's continuous play. And then you just build out however you want. And it's it's an economy builder. I mean, that's what it is. Uh, so I, I, I'm having fun with it. It hits things that city builders should really hit on. Uh, my settings, this is not settings, this is the credits, which, ha ha ha, no, I'm not gonna watch. Uh, you have all your settings here. The video settings, I have a GTX NVIDIA a 770. It's not too shabby, not the highest model. I cannot run everything on ultra high or very high. I have it on mainly all high, uh, and then some custom stuff somewhere. I adjusted the gamma a little bit higher, full screen. It still looks really, really good, trust me. We're doing all high, that's still gonna be nice. Uh, I've tried it on the higher settings, it plays okay, uh, but I wanna do something get, that gets you a consistent frame rate. Now the frame rate's in the top corner. I can't get rid of that, that's the actual game. It's not in the settings anywhere. I'm not gonna talk about my key bindings because I've changed them all up, they're all different, so I won't talk about that in my, in my game. And you can have your audio and gameplay. This is what I didn't have, these were just blanked out. Uh, so now that this is all good, we're going to join in. We're going to create I'm a new glad corporation. You accepted my invitation, Samantha Beaumont, Global Union Supervisor of the Lunar Licensing Program. What up, Sam? We have a lot to discuss, but first, I'd like to introduce you to your artificial data amalgamating messenger. Ah, my Adam, my Adam, Adam, Adam. Thank you for participating in the Lunar Licensing Program. The program stipulates that your corporation set up operative spaceports to act as bases for a new wave of lunar colonization. You will further mm. assist Global Union in the development of a fusion energy reactor to avert Earth's impending energy crisis. Oh wow, so we'll get our energy from Officially, the moon. only mega corporations are allowed in the program, but I personally took a stand for you. You Monty just have to Lace. sign in with your corporation name. So we're going to do Monty Plays, and before Sam or anyone else interrupts us, we're going to jump in. We start out picking our island. We get a move to the Arctic. You build out our bases on Earth. And then, if you're a passive player, that's fine. You can actually earn on goals and still move on in the game, and you don't have to do the whole RTS battles. However, I'm going to do some of the battles. They are fun. We're going to go with the corporate name here. Thanks, but I need to see your corporate logo as well for identification purposes. All right, so what should we do? Should I do, I'm, I'm kind of a newbie to this game, so I feel like I should do like the little chicken coming out of the egg, or I could be the weird panda. I guess I have to unlock some Uplay Ubisoft club points to get some of these other icons. So let's just go with something simple. I've already done a few, so let's do something different. I, uh, 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 the dragon? No, let's do the chicken out of the egg because I am gonna be a noob to this. My superiors at the Global Union had reservations about you, but I've convinced them. Thanks. They even decided to allocate you high-grade territory for new corporate headquarters. Choose a sector. Away. All right. Walbrook Basin, Cape Amber, or Viridian Coves. Now, what happens is you pick one, and the other ones are going to be owned by other corporations, which I guess at some point we can, have, we can even buy them out and then build there, or... These islands are huge. They show you actually by acres, how many mountain sites, coastal sites, and project for energy, rare materials, or ornaments. I'm thinking I want to do um, rare materials. Let's do rare materials here. And then in the Arctic, I'm going to do 
ornamentals because I haven't done that. Uh, that's kind of jumping ahead a little bit. Uh, so I don't know. I see a lot of people starting with Walbrook. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do Cape Amber. And uh, yeah, then we're going to pick the difficulty. So Sam, what's up? Almost there. We just have to negotiate the terms of your contract with Global Union, funding conditions, and the like. Okay, so the game is what it is. Uh, the uh, Everything's going to be the same except your startup capital, uh, which you can actually even adjust here as far as your emergency loan settings. You have change requests? Uh, the other thing that gets major is if you... Oh. Almost there. We just have to negotiate the terms of your contract with Global Union, it, funding conditions, and the like. If you do the expert mode, uh, if you run out of money, if you hit zero, game over. So we're not going to do that. I'm just going to go standard mode, and you can change this up. Uh, for the actual battles, like the in-game ship battles. I'll probably do advanced on those. Uh, but I just want to have extra money because I'm going to be talking and play around, and we'll see. Uh, but you can actually look into the advanced settings and see. That's Like, we can do construction refund at half. Uh, we can do starting credits at sparse. And you can see how this difficulty bar kind of slowly goes up. So you can, like tune this to make it go advanced but still have often frequencies so we can fine tune it how we want basically so assignment rewards I like my assignment rewards um, a construction refunded half okay well that's that's fair enough because if not it's basically sandbox mode and you can just change stuff around uh, military progression I want that normal uh, revenue Let's just go... Going through everything, yes. Yeah. All right, I won't rush you. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. I'm, I'm talking to my viewers here. We're having a conversation. Uh, my warehouse output, let's just go with plenty. I like that. Assignment. Frequency. Or I could do medium. Normal. And then we're in advanced right there. Hidden containers. Uh, enable or disable gatherable objects that grant a small amount of goods. I kind of think these are cool. You just see them around, you click on them, and you get little items. Um, or I could just remove it and say, like, have my military progression go up. Oh, yeah, I like that. Because the hidden containers, though nice, I'm not going to have time to go running around the map. Uh, I'll, I, might, I should keep them on just to show you what they are, but it's no big deal. Uh, and then relocate building. Change the option to relocate an already constructed building. Um, oh, I can relocate buildings. I forget about that. I delete them and move them. Relocating is... I, I delete them and then so... I was playing with full here. Uh, Don't want to be rude, let's but go ahead and have, have a tight it. schedule. All right, so tight schedule, so let's launch ahead. I'm sure you guys have a tight schedule as well. And get to it. Monty plays on normal chicken in the egg. You are now entering phase one of the Lunar Licensing Program. The Global Union assigned you territory in Earth's temperate region to establish a spaceport and a base of operations. The construction of a space elevator to Global Union headquarters is also required. For further instructions, speak to your official contact person. Global Union wishes you success. All right, we're going to jump right into it now. A true island uh -huh. paradise, don't you think? Look at the that. coastal area here is very rich in natural resources. I wonder if that's the reason why a member of the Big Five is planning for an underwater research project. The Big Five? Well, it's going to be the big one. The Big for Monty. Now, that's secondary. The protocol demands that you establish a spaceport in this area. The spaceport building site off the coast is still unstaffed. So before she talks about it, here we are. I have it so space bar is the pause button. I don't know what it is. I think it's the P button. That's the only way to really kind of just pause it and wait. What free camera mode really lets you get in here? I did not have this on. This is our command ship. And let me just unpause real quick so you can see everything moving. And it's really nice. Like really nice like I have never seen a city builder game economy builder game look as fancy and clean as this one does right here 
Uh, so these are our quests right here. That's the bad thing. When you pause, you can't look at stuff. So we need to attract workers. I so know it's a lot of things to keep in mind. We need but a rice Adam farm. Compiled you a database where you can access all the information you need. Okay, so Adam's like our Wikipedia. Uh, we need rice farm, sunflower farm, biopolymer. So let's get to it. Uh, but I want to pause again real quick and just go, oh man, it looks beautiful. You can see that the place is huge, and this is how I'm going to play. I'm going to kind of do a quest, and then pause it so we can really look deep into the game a little bit more. Uh, because it just looks beautiful. So these are just little outlines of future projects and things that we're going to be able to do. Uh, or we're going to be able to buy stuff out, and you'll see we'll go to the strategy map. This is our nice terrain where... We have to choose what to build. Uh, I think I want to do mining operation. And then we're going to have the Arctic, and then we'll get into all the, the, the strategy map of it. And then we're going to have to trade with space, and when our, we're in our lunar program, we're going to get to go to the moon. I mean, I, I feel like I'm just pausing and not getting to actually play it, but there's so much to talk about. So, all right. We need workers. So build button. Uh, bottom left. Uh, let me give you guys a pause and I'm going to move myself up here to the right uh, because all this is is my profile up here and I will see you guys in a second. All right, peace. Okay, I'm back. So I'm back and I'm up on the top right so everything's good now but on the bottom, the mini map, click on the little camera and right now I have the day night cycle happening. Next time it hits like noon and it's really nice and bright, I'm going to stop that so just so you guys know in the future. Uh, but there's some really amazing things that I, I hope all games put in, like postcard mode. Uh, what, like Cities XXL has these. Cities XL, like a postcard mode, and that's what puts you in this nice camera angle. Gets you just some fantastic shots at night. Uh, the, like the command ship, like I was talking about earlier, we can actually control that, and we'll go on missions and do all kinds of fun stuff. Different than your normal game. So I'm just going to go ahead and get escape out of that. I can rotate camera. They have the flyby camera sequences at any time. So you know once we build out. Look at that. It's like a ride. I had water splash on here. Roller coaster games aren't even thinking about this stuff. So I don't know. A lot of hate, but a lot of cool stuff. And then I zoomed out right before I got to my actual city. But we'll check that kind of stuff out once it really builds in. Right now we got a job. All we can build is workers and ornaments. Right now we need workers. Uh, these little houses, let's see, what do they do? Provide workforce, generate revenue, houses up to five employees. So, let's see, if I do this right in the middle, uh, you can drag on this game, which I really like. So we'll do five times 10 to get 50. Wait, I'm up, oh, sorry. I was thinking that was the count of that, but that's the bioplastic. So these cost one each, okay, good. So, I just need this out to 10. And that should be the 50 worker populace that we'll need. Uh, build residence. Nice. Uh, so we're gonna need a road connected to a lot of these. So I just have a hotkey for my roads. Nothing fancy, this isn't where you can build, you know, one-way streets and highways and all that. You just have to make sure everything is connected to your warehouse, which is what this big building is here. Classic Anno with that, uh, but people are kind of you know people are kind of down. You can't have like a satellite link going on down here and all that kind of stuff. And like I said, no speed control. Once it hits daytime, I'll bump you in. But hey, come on, let's check it out. Let's zoom in here. Let's see. Just right click, undoes that. We got flying hover cars. We got. Are they fighting or dancing? I think they're just dancing. I don't know. They, she looks like she's out for that nighttime stroll with the red light. With the red light on. We know. We know. All right. Back to work. We need rice farm, uh, sunflower farms, and biopolymer factory. All right. So now I'm going to keep having those people interrupt me while I'm trying to talk. But it, I didn't have the voices, so now I'm going, oh, do I want the voices? So this game, also a cool thing about it, is going to be modules. Reward myself with some takeout. Yes, reward yourself with some takeout. Uh, so I'm going to build these pretty far apart, and you'll see why later. And I'm only going to build two. And then let's build a road. Build the 
this guy straight out. And on this road, we shall build biopolymer. One on this side. Great. Building material shortages shouldn't be an issue anymore. Yes, yes, because that's what I gotta pay attention to. On the top, I got money coming in. All right, I have money. I have credit balances in the positive. Well done. Uh, my employees are in the positive, and I am now producing biopolymers. If I overbuilt out, and I'm, then I'm not building biopolymers, I'd have to go to the market and trade, but I don't have a space elevator. So you can tap yourself out at the beginning. So what I'm going to have to remember to do is, in between cutscenes, turn those little voices off so they don't interrupt. Uh, but that's okay. We got this. Now, on the bottom down here, you can also see I'm losing on organic food. So, that is a rice farm. Makes me five organic food per minute. So I'm going to say on this side over here, I'm going to add... Sorry, got a dash. I can't lose this job now. Organic food is perceived to the as workers. needless luxury by many megacorps. Nice. Good to see you share the union's perspective. So this is going to be good. These should I be... I don't mind working here at all. Yeah, creeping up. Don't spill those. Uh, we need to get them water and information. So it looks like... These actually aren't going to fill up until I provide them with a few more goods, so we're not going to be able to hit the 50 quite yet. Even though this is maximum of 50, we're not going to be able to do that. Plus, build residence and connect it to the warehouse. i got to build 25 of them anyway, so I built 10. Uh, so I want to build another row of these. Now this is all up to your own preference on how you build these out. I like spreading it around. Uh, there's not traffic or anything like that in the game. It's just... Well about done. balance. Balancing your goods, balancing the materials. You're going to upgrade these residences to have different types of like workers. Uh, for example, here, after the workers, uh, I'm going to upgrade these and get operators. Now, say in the Arctic, I'm going to upgrade the people who live there to become scientists. So you have to say? manage all these different... That's what I love about it. You have to manage all the different regions together as one big... Corporation, you're not just building a single city. You're building an entire corporation. Boom. New building available. You New have gained the following ready blueprints. For implementation. That's a good one. We can use it. Good. So transporting. Alright, this is gonna give me 67, 40. You can actually see it on the bottom. Uh, it adds to my supply. Uh, right now I'm at 40, so I'm actually okay. I'm not in the negative. I don't actually need to build one yet. Did you see that? Come more mm. My power, that's a different story. Uh, it's at 35, but that's going to drop down pretty fast. So I'm going to build some power over here. Uh, my mouse wheel is, when I click it, I can switch. So I'm going to build that here, and that's going to be able to spread out later. And I can't wait. We need 10 more workers to get the desalination plant. Whoa, we need 200 workers total for the infodrome. To so let's go ahead and do some a whole nother row. Here. Uh, I'm going to do the same on the other side. Because I had the... I'm, the reason why I'm going slow too is I'm using up those biopolymers. Your bio construction polymers. crew is one of the first ready. Keep nice. up the pace. Your competitors now, will try to catch this up. This is so cool. All right, for I'm going to put the water right here. Stage, You'll need qualified ground staff to operate the spaceport. Make sure to adhere to union standards while providing the required infrastructure. So here's my spaceport. I haven't even shown this off yet. Uh, ha, ha. Let's do a little pause and look around for a second. I've got some guy out here. He must want to talk to me. He's got a star. He's important. A bear of Foxcom. Ooh. Interesting. So we'll keep an eye on that. Uh, when we unpause, we'll check in with them. But right now, as you can see, these little highlighted trony looking things. I think I said that in one of my other series. Oh yeah, A-Train. Um, this is the potential spots to build. Uh, so I'm trying to build out a water uh, desalination. Get the salt out, basically. Uh, but you're gonna, you only are limited to one, two, three, let's see, and a few over here. I think we're just not far enough over here to look at it. 
So you only get so many to build on. Uh, so you gotta keep that in mind. So you can't go all of these things to create a bunch of pr extra water when you'll see we're end up hurting for power. When you can fish. Uh, some places you need to use it up for food and not water. It, it gets complicated. But let's take another zoom in. We got our factory. And once we get that space elevator up, I think we're gonna call it a uh, episode number one. I zoomed in a little crazy, but let's look at the evergreens. Look at them, beautiful. Uh, but we're definitely colonizing. It's looking good. We've got some cool little robots Warning. here. Look at them. Unfulfilled demand for specific consumer products. Huh? 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 That would be low water. So like I said, I want to build it out, not there. I want to build it over here. And like everything, it's got to be connected to a road. You need this desalination plant. These yes, days, it's I do the need only it. way to come by drinkable water. Check it out. Yeah, I guess we have no fresh water on this island, so Corporation value we were hurt. Risen. So, like I'm saying, it's just a, a beautiful looking game. And if I wasn't recording, I could probably even run it on higher settings. But I sacrifice for you now. So you guys can see it. My computer cries for you. Now, modules. We're going to get to that. We can't build it yet. That would be jumping the gun. It doesn't even let you. Uh, we need to get 200 workers. And this is climbing up. 150 almost. We need 200. Uh, that's going to promote this. Let's go talk to that guy we said we're going to go talk hey, to. Hey, please, don't kick me out. I'm just pursuing a pet project of mine. Oh, really? Give me a minute, and you'll see how worthwhile my research is, okay? Except okay, here's a short version. I'm researching I ancient this. AI configurations. You must have heard of the father incident of 2070. Complex AI goes nuts, starts dropping nukes. Anyway, <laughs> that, that's funny. all AIs had identity blockers installed. I see it underwater. That's why today's versions are so stable and predictable. Yeah, boring, I know. But uh -oh, now, sounds like I trouble. found a submerged structure that seems to run on old AI algorithms. My interest is purely scientific, so if you help me recover it, you may keep any usable materials you find. Hmm. Materials for her to take over the world with robots that will end up killing us all. For some materials. Attach the Ibar... Uh, what, what now? I'm going to hit tab and on bring my... Way command ship over here. We haven't messed with any of this. There's my command ship. Ba ba ba. It's coming over here. Uh, so if I click on the star, attach the sensor drone to your command ship. So I'm just going to right click. Ding. All right, it's following the drone. Now the drone's got this cool little that. sensor blinky light thing on him. And he tells me where to go. So obviously I don't have to go very far. Copy that. But I have to collect uh looks like four scattered ahead. remains. Uh, oh, 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 there's one. So, besides building, so you want to make sure your economy is settled and making money, then you go on these I missions. I, I think that's kind of neat. Now, they brought the, the war missions, the things that are actually dangerous where you're fighting. Those are not ahead. in your city islands. Uh, those will happen somewhere else. You'll actually go to the campaign map, and it'll pop up here and you'll actually go to the event. Um, so this is kind of a cool thing to do while we wait. Oh, I have the coordinates confirmed. Right click menu available. There's another object. And see how we're doing. We still need more workers. So we're gonna hop back with the mini map. And I want to add a whole nother row and let this build up. And I can't leave it without building it a road or it'll all fall apart. So we're good. I'm gonna double click tab, takes me right to my command ship. Oh, and remember it's daytime, finally. Underway. So once I once it hits like noon, remember I gotta turn off this. Underway. Oh, I'm gonna crash on the rock. It's right here, it's somewhere close. Copy that. See how it blinks a little bit more the closer I get. Copy that. Uh, so now it's only the two dots. 
Once it gets right. three dots, I know I'm getting really on top of it. So that's good. I like the lighting right now. Roger. So remind me about the lighting. Uh, if I keep it on the same type of lighting too long, just post a little comment. Hey, Monty, clean your stuff up. Construction options expanded. Good. We got new construction op options because we opened that up. Roger. I'm going to get this final piece. I'm going to build this dome here. Notice the blue on the road. That means it's going to cover that area. A broad range of information services. This will enable your employees to develop their interests as well as their skills. We're going to head back. I think that gave everybody what they needed to upgrade. Now, upgrade, promote. Roger. They call it promotions because they're workers, so I'm going to promote them to operators. Copy that. But I want to get this last piece. I, I, I sense it. I'm close. I got three. Underway. There it is. All right. Uh, we're going to bring it back to her ship. Uh, we're going to come back here. Uh, what I like to do is click on this little upgrade button on the bottom left, and let's just upgrade as much as we can. Maybe the whole middle. Operators at your service. It cost 40. Construct remarkable progress. Look at We've that. Assembled Double trouble. Crews and ground personnel faster than I was expecting. You are more than ready for the first major hurdle. Ooh, buildings the available. The program demands you connect your city with the Global Union Space Station via a space elevator. Will do. So far, only megacorps like the Big Five use such technology. But I'm sure you have the same potential. You think outside the box. I like that. Back to Eleanor. Hi. Look, there's been this development, and we could use your help. Interested? Ooh, I'm gonna need more workers. Uh, yeah, I'm interested. So we're gonna have five minutes. Uh, I, that clock hasn't started, but to get uh, 100 workers. And we need to get 1,000 operators to build the space elevator. So, we've got some work to do. Nice thing is, is look, we've unlocked some really cool stuff. We've got more transport modules. We might need more electricity. Can I build modules now? Uh, not yet. We haven't unlocked modules yet. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and build out another block of these brand new ones. Ooh, they need robots. So let's go to operators. Let's build a feldspar quarry. Let me build a quarry here. One quarry down. Uh, we need a cobalt mine. We're going to just build that right here. Uh-huh. See, so it's kind of, people are going to say, oh, this is a little bit easy because uh, it's predetermined spots. Trust me, it's the modules that come into play. Uh, and then we need Constructo bots, which I'm sure Eleanor, our friend, is going to turn these into evil attacking robots. But hey, you know, we'll play along. Things happen. Uh, yeah, we'll just have a row of these down here, but I've got to get roads built. So let's build a road up here to connect ah, here. I knew there was something uh -huh. going on here. Yes. Nick Papadakis, Papadakis Enterprises. You want a good deal? Just come to my warehouse. Oh, good. Nick You've Papadak gathered the components needed for the elevator. <laughs> Nicky Nick. Only the elevator cable requires special materials you can't produce. But I arranged for a delivery. Okay. I'm building extra power while they were talking. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm short on workers. Uh, but now that I'm building those Constructo bots, I can Warning. build my residential Human complex. Insufficient. Uh, I know. D and don't call my humans resources. See, the aliens, man, they're already... The aliens, the robots, they're taking over. I'm going to build two rows of this if I can. I can only build one for now. I'll take it, because that'll help me map out my road. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. So I'm sure I'm short on what? What do you guys think? It's all about balance. So food is going to be a problem. New level yep. of success reached. New level of success reached. Thank you, Bob. Bob the Builder. Let's get to it. Um, hmm. Just trying to think of where to build this. Let's build another rice farm out here. And can I build more modules? 
you guys want to check out an operator. So that's how you make these bigger. They're not going to upgrade like to hold more right. workers. Uh, that any work to do? It's just operators live in the bigger buildings. So now it's operators. To get operators to the next level, I need vitamin drinks, rejuvenators, neuro implants, and security. So get the name of the game now. Kind of like supply them with the stuff. It upgrades. It's like a mixture of Sim City Planet base. Uh, old well, Anno is mixed in here. They've kind of tried to figure out a new mix. Which, I don't know, I like it. Uh, most Anno games, the reason why I'm, I'm no expert with them is I play them for like three or four hours, and then I don't play them, and then I try to play them again, and I have to go back and play the same part, and I just keep relearning it, and I just don't get hooked. However, this one, I feel the hook, man. I feel it. So let's turn everything right here as much as we can. See, it only did a few. Construction options expanded. Uh, I'm upgrading as much as possible, so everything's equal. I could go out here, look at my strategy map. I can't trade yet, I can't do anything like that, remember. These episodes are going to be longer than my normal videos, uh, but I want to get the space elevator going. And I can't speed it up. What is this up here? Oh, employees need more goods. So it's it's going to whine that everyone needs vitamin drinks. Unfulfilled demand for specific commodities. So how may I be of service? The reason is, is now I have operators, their very first demand is vitamin drinks. So as soon as I say, give them vitamin drinks, they're going to go, ah, we need rejuvenators. Get the, ah, see? So that's how that works. And they'll keep adding up. Or at least that's how it seems to work. Again. I'm a freshness. Let's double tab. Let's see what he's got going on. Uh, I delivered these back. Um, oh, I need more just regular workers, so. So, I got plenty of these bots, and we're gonna go on this side. Ooh, can I, how far up can I go? Right there. I'm just gonna add a street right up the middle. And we got a lot of room, so I'm just gonna keep this pattern going. This is all gonna be workers up here. And this base is going to work with my other bases, so everything I make here, I can trade with my other little hideouts and bases. So it's going to be good. Uh, you can see my short problem now is it's taking me long for the biopolymer. So I'm going to build another one of those. Now we'll construct more of that. I'm excited for example the... let's change the lighting a little. And these can I can get mods up here because the module you get five per building and I'll be able to put extra miners or make it more efficient or make it take less energy that's how you can kind of play with your options there uh, let's see how we're doing with this quest Attention. lack of transporters in production lack of transporters that's these so I appreciate the warning I'll just build that guy right there. Uh, power is a problem again. Let's build this right here. And we're in the green again. So I'm going to build another power thing up here. And as many of these as I can buy. Good. That's expanding. And now it's going to be upgrade time. Let's see, ready for promotion. Uh, short on the biopolymers. There we go. So we'll let that build up. This is where I guess I can kind of go around and mess up, mess around, go around and mess around. Sometimes there'll be ships over here. Uh, that'll give you quests and missions, and this is when you can hit tab and cruise around with this guy and just go find fun stuff to mess with. But for now, we'll keep him at the base just to hang out. And remember, you can customize that on that main menu. Remember, remember. The idle commandership is not helping. Uh, how are we doing? We're doing good on power. This is beefed up. Uh, our main quest is still get a lot more operators. Let's apply for some vacation time. 
produced vitamin drinks. Oh, okay, so we can already start getting a fruit plantation going. Let's snack this guy up here. And maybe another one here. And make me some fruit next to the power. Next, no. Uh, make me some fruit right in the middle. A clever move seen to your staff's good health. Benefits like that make you a more attractive employer. Nice. Congratulations on your first taste of success. Let's upgrade as many of these as we can. All of them? Yeah, that was a big one. Okay. I still need the workers for this one here, though. New blueprints ready for implementation. Okay. Workers. Logistics network overburdened. I'll get you another truck for your logistics network that is overburdened. I'm gonna build out this road a little bit first. And we doing good for money. I'm not gonna mess with that. Oh, we got a tidal power station. Yes, please. I want to show it off. We're going to get a road. We're going to get a road. Alright. Oh, did something weird there. Yes, so now we're making plenty of power. Attention. Under provision of specific consumer goods. And detected. we're getting it from this EG Logistics title wave power. So cool stuff here. Uh, logistics is still hurting. So it's basically kind of just keep doing what they yell at you about. <laughs> and wait for the modules to unlock. This is just step one in my licensing my program. Fall walls. Come in, sit yourself. Uh, can I upgrade all four of these? Uh, how we doing? 733. Something just happened. Uh, let's see what else. What else? What else? Um, we're low on vitamin drinks. So let's go ahead and build them an extra one of those. That's under... Oh, and I haven't messed with the ornaments at all. It hasn't really bugged me about it, so I haven't. Build these two right next to each other. Stretch this out. Analyses show unfulfilled demand for specific commodities. Low on vitamin drinks gave him another farm. And continue out with this craziness. We'll just have a nice straight block all the way down the middle. Come on, let's skip the act. What? Skip what act? What is, what are they talking about? See, I think they were getting a little frisky down there. That's that red light girl. Alright, there we go. Uh, it's looking good. See, these guys are complaining because they got no Wi Fi. They got no Wi Fi. No, they don't have an information center. Get them one of those built up. Uh, as soon as we can have bioplastic. What did the results say? What did the results say? Uh, it's a boy. Attention. Under the provision of specific consumer goods detected. All right, so things are going all right. Uh, it's getting bogged down. Look at the flying cars everywhere. That's why I'm in free free roam. Let's really check into it. That's pretty neat. It's getting it's getting pretty wild down here though. A lot going on. Uh, that one's still not started yet. Remaining time isn't clicking down, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Select the spaceport. I can do that. All right, that's where we just need the 1,000 operators, which we're getting there, lady. We're getting there. Just got to do some upgrades. I'm, talking about I'm uh, slacking on my bioplastic production, which is going to be important. Uh, but I just, you know me, I don't want to overbuild these out when I'm just going to be able to get the modules. I wish it unlocked the modules early. That would that would be nice. I should have the modules already, ready to go. I don't know what I'm, 
I don't want to know what you did. Logistics are going to be a problem. Come on, whine about it. I know you want to. I fixed it before you could. Uh, upgrades. There's hotkeys for all these. I like just clicking. They made everything nice and easy to get to. Wait, why? Why not? What's your problem? Promotion not available. I must be short walls. on food. Come in, sit yourself down. Stay away from those batteries. Something I can fix with a few clicks of rice patties. Rice patty here. Rice patty there. Rice patty here. Everybody's happy. Upgrades all around. Come on, upgrade. Your technicians are ready. Start the elevator construction once all other requirements are met. My associate, John Rafferty, is already heading here with the special material deliveries. Should be all smooth. Nothing bad could happen. Let's go ahead and launch this. Yeah, Rafferty here. Miss Bowman assigned me to ensure the transport safety. Approaching your sector, over. Well, are you the red guys? No, this isn't good. Code Red. We're under attack. Code Red. <laughs> I thought he was Damn the bad guy. The cargo. Voice audio helps. Protect the ship. People of Earth, this is the manifesto of the moon's independence. I'm sorry, who now? The global union waged war on us for generations with weapons like falsehood, negligence, and exploitation. So propaganda, the LAC basically. Bowed its head. In the red eyes. Fire. Evil eyes. But not they anymore. Are the orbital Set watch. Set no foot on the land of our forefathers. We are the orbital watch. The moon is free. Hmm. But we're gonna go to the. They left. attacked us out of nowhere, sunk all my ships, and took over the cargo. Now they're blockading the whole sector. No transports are gonna make it through anymore. All right, no time to study regulations. Meet Rafferty at the coordinates transmitted. Do whatever is necessary. Attention. Under provision of specific consumer oh. goods detected. So we can't finish Attention. this. Under provision of specific consumer oh, nice. goods detected. Okay, okay, okay. I was hoping this would, uh... Driving okay. a bike, shooting the Finish that off. We have to show some fight. But no, we have our first attack, which that's what I'll do next episode. Intervention get required. There, and in one piece. We're going to get to upgrade our ships. Uh, we can only do standard mode just because we don't even have any veteran ships or anything available. So we'll do this next episode. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Post, comment, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'm going to keep at it, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.